In this lesson, we will learn how we can use the idea of expected value in the business world. The question reads, Giada, the manager of Ye Old Coffee Shop, is deciding how many Asiago cheese bagels to order for tomorrow morning. According to her records, for the past 10 days, the demand has been as follows. In four out of the 10 days, 40 people demanded this bagel. And we assume that if they demand it, they purchase it. And in six out of the 10 days, only 30 people demanded it. So when the demand is 40, the probability of that is four out of 10. And when the demand is 30, the probability is six out of 10. That will come in handy later on. She buys bagels for $1.45 each and sells them for $1.85. Unsold bagels are discarded, so that's a loss. Find her expected value for her profit or loss if she orders 40 bagels for tomorrow morning. Now, in case you forgot, the expected value is often referred to as the long-term average or mean. And what this means is that over the long term of doing an experiment over and over, you would expect this average, the expected value, every time you perform a particular experiment. To calculate the expected value, we look at the probability of an event and multiply it by the value associated with that probability. You do this for all the events and sum them up. So let's say she orders 40 bagels. The probability she will have 40 customers happens four times in every 10 days. The value associated with selling 40 bagels is the profit of one bagel times 40. To find the profit of one bagel is easy. You take 1.85 minus 1.45. That's the profit, the difference here, and that's 40 cents. Now we multiply this by the 40 people. We end up with 16. That is the value associated with this probability, $16. Now the other event is only 30 people actually ask for it. So that happens six out of the 10 days. And let's calculate its expected value. Well, if only 30 people purchase, we multiply that by the profit of 0 0.40. And if we multiply this out, we have 30 times 0 0.40, we get $12 profit. And then you have the 10 that were not purchased. So if you don't sell those 10, you actually lost $1.45 on them. Let's find out what that is. 10 times 1.45 gives us 14.5. Unfortunately, if this happens, you end up with negative 2.50. We will substitute this value right into here. That's the value associated with the six out of 10. And let's calculate this. Let's see what the expected value is if she takes this chance. So we just multiply these out, this part right here, plus six over 10. Let's put this in parentheses and just do this all at once. Times negative 2.50. The expected value is 4.90. That's what she should expect as a profit if she orders 40 bagels tomorrow morning. Of course, let's hope that it's a lot more. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the expected value and its relation to the business world.